show you how to do um, sorting out backgrounds for the right size for doodly um, there's a lot of people have been having problems with getting the right size background for doodly and this is why I'll show you um, I'm going to put try and put that one on with a sandcastle on there right and put that on or try to oh the image is too large right so what you need to do is you need to resize the image right so what I'm going to do is come out of that, go on to my other program, which is Affinity Designer. Click that on. I'll come on in a minute. Right, and then I'm going to open a new project uh, or whatever it's a document, new document. Yeah, and on I4 landscape, create that. Then I'm going to go and search for that particular file. Right, I'll go where it was. Uh, pip out on it. And it's. Was it now? Landscape. Yep. Yeah. And there it is. I've right, got it. Right, so now what I'm going to do is put it on here. Now, to get it the right size for Doogly, it's about a quarter, just under a quarter of um, an A4 sheet. Right? And I've worked it out using these grids. If you can see the grids there, like the 5 x 5 grids, right? Each one of them boxes, right? I'm going to count four across, four down, and seven, seven across. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute, right? So we go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just one line extra on there, on the the, the width. I mean the the length and the width is four dead on four that's usually about right about four but i need to move that out across because that's just slightly out of that line i didn't realize so that needs to go in a bit like that so that should be the right size for doodly and that's just short of um, a quarter of the a4 sheet right that should be the right size for doing a background so what i need to do is export that as just a section without background, I always do that one just in case you need to um, see something behind it, which you don't usually for a background, but um, on this occasion I'll do it anyway. I always try to save it, and I'm going to save mine to desktop so I can find it, and I'm going to put it a sandcastle as the title for it. Right, once I've done that. I've saved it now. I can get out of that, right? Clip off that, and then go on to do play again. Then, where's my app? Where's my program? There's my, my video that I ain't started properly yet. What I'm gonna do is just go on there, plus prop, drop me prop in, which is gonna be I've got it to desktop, right? Me desktop, let's upgrade. There it is over there, Sandcastle PNG, 
and there you go straight away come up and you can go right to come up and just go pull that out of that and that should be more or less the right size I'm far away anyway but that's within a couple of millimeters there there you go is that not perfect not the perfect size for what we wanted or well, roughly anyway okay um, so that's what you do with the backgrounds now I just click off that delete that now because I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm kind of can I I'll just do that click off that I'm going to do I'm going to go back on to Affinity Designer and show you to do character the character there the prince right so right start a new document A4 I'm going to do a uh, pull track this time because I'm, I'm getting a, a character on right now where's my character there's my character the prince right I'll put him on big first right so quite big in it right now uh, let's try saving that export as selection without background because we don't want the background on and I'm going to call it Prince One, right? So we can tell the difference between Prince and Prince One. Prince is the one I've just put on. That might be big enough for Doodly, but I'm not sure. Um, Prince One, we know it's not going to be. I don't think. So I'll just try that. Save that. Have I exported it? Let's, let's just check. If we exported it, right? Document. Let's see my background. Um, yeah, it's on. Right, okay. Don't need to worry about that. Right, so I'm just going to come out of that a sec. Go on to um, this again. And click browse files. Look for Prince 1. Prince 1 there. See if that will go on. Now it's too big. Look. Oh dear. What do I do? Okay. Well, we've got to reduce the size of that as well. So what you do is you go on to your affinity. Uh, designer or whichever image app you're using and then you go right down to about there roughly a quarter of the size or something like that and then of uh, the actual page really and then you do export and then select back with the background and then replace prints one with that so I'll replace yes you want to replace it so we've, I've replaced it with that size now Okay, and I'm going into Doodly, browse for files, look for Prince One again. There's Prince One. Okay, put that on. Oh, it's still too big. Right, so what I have to do is try again, do it a bit smaller. Right, so we we'll go back on to Affinity. Right. Usually that's quite that's about the right size, but it, for some reason I didn't get it right this time. And mind you, can do that sometimes. Sometimes that happens, especially if you've got m multiple colours on it. You got to watch. Sometimes they don't uh, always take so out. It needs to be a bit smaller. So I'll do it like that. Right, it's a bit smaller. Yeah, and try exporting that. So selection without background. Um, Prince one, That's, yes, right. Now I'll try that again on there. Where's Prince one? Prince one, there we go. There you go, it fits now. That's gonna fit, and that's it. That's what that's all you can do is a uh, trial and error sometimes because sometimes with, with the more colors it takes up more memory and then you ain't got so much memory to use with it so that's the image and you can stretch it a bit so it's not too bad is it and you know, it was quite big